Hey Claiborne, busy week aside, Steph and I did get a chance to see Ninjago this week, and I was planning on just talking about that, but Steph also got me this Lloyd Brickhead. I didn't even know that they were making Ninjago Brickheads, and so it's pretty cool that this is my first. So I'm going to put it together and talk Ninjago. Ninjago! So the basic premise of Ninjago is this kind of what I said last week. You have this ragtag group of ninjas trying to make it through high school. No, you don't want to miss school, honey. These are the best years of your life. Um, have you, have you been to high school? Because, uh, it's judgy. Pretty judgy. I know they didn't spend too much time on high school Claiborne, and neither will I, but one of the things that I could really appreciate is that these ninja are nerds. The Lloyd is especially disliked being the son of the local big baddie, but he's also the leader of the ninjas. Like you, I was fully expecting them to be spinjitsu masters, but they turn out to be very different from their cartoon and video game counterparts. Practice spinjitsu. That's easy. Watch this. <laughs> Exertion for three hours. Instead of martial arts, the ninja tend to rely on really big mechs to do their fighting form, which I can understand, but isn't what I tend to think of when I think of a ninja. I did like the mech they have, and especially the boot sequence for the mechs, had a way of personalizing each ninja. It took me a while to understand Nia's, and it wasn't until I was editing footage for this video that I realized it was a water strider. The ninja even make a bit of a joke of how reliant they are on their mechs. And as you pointed out, at some point they do have to do without them. They go out into the jungle to find an ultimate, ultimate weapon to defeat Meowthra, and I really liked the way that this worked out. It not only gave a little reason to why the ninjas aren't always ninjing, but it also created one of the best fight scenes in the movie. Fight scenes are where I really have to disagree with you. This was an action movie. Easy. One of my favorite things about this movie wasn't the plot, but how mobile they made the minifigs. Both Steph and I felt you could really see the Jackie Chan come through in the jungle fight scene, but you see his fingerprints all over the film. And sure, this really is a film about Lloyd and Garmadon, and the rest of the ninja crew play a backup band. But it has lots of charming character, even for the side characters. The start and the end were a little odd, playing homage to Karate Kid and not making any sense. But overall, I liked the film, right down to making the cat a bad guy. I also like this Brickheads. I like that they made his head slit yellow because he has a little yellow Lego head. I'll see you next week, over and out. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. What kind of shoes do ninjas wear? Sneakers, laugh out loud, laugh out loud, laugh out loud, laugh out loud.